What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about our Atlanta Falcons and why they proved to be a mentally tough team. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and uh, Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign, Jew Talk Sports. If you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned in today's video, I do want to talk about why the Atlanta Falcons proved to be a mentally tough team. Uh, as you guys know, our Atlanta Falcons team is known for being a physical team under Arthur Smith. Uh, we built in the trenches. We're a team that likes to run the ball. We're a team that likes to stop the run. We uh, like to control the line of scrimmage, both on the offensive side of the ball and also on the defensive side of the ball. But I really think over the last couple weeks, this Atlanta Falcons team has proven that they're not only physically tough, but they're also mentally tough. And I think that that's going to go a long way for this Atlanta Falcons team this season. We know that news was swirling uh, all last week after our two game losing streak that Desmond Ritter, you know, he was the uh, guy that everybody was saying that he wasn't it, that he isn't a starting quarterback. He isn't a franchise caliber quarterback. And this week, uh, not only Desmond Ritter, but this team, uh, in this win yesterday, uh, yesterday, excuse me, against the Houston Texans, they silenced those critics. And it just proves that these guys are not only physically tough, but these guys are mentally tough. Uh, we seen in yesterday's game, B. John Robinson fumbling the football and then coming right back and coming up with a one handed uh, behind the back catch and scoring a touchdown after fumbling. We seen guys like John Lou Smith make plays after he fumbled the football early in the game. Uh, we've seen Desmond Ritter in this game after having two uh, lackluster performances against the Jaguars, um, him come back and play really well uh, in this game against the Houston Texans. So it just goes to show that these guys are not only um, physically tough, but these guys are mentally tough. It's been a lot of people talking in the media about Kyle Pitts coming back from the knee injury, and he's proven to also be mentally tough and physically tough, him being able to come back from a, a bad knee injury, not being 100%, but going out there yesterday and making plays, almost having a 100-yard receiving game uh, after people you know, talking about the Falcons should trade him to another team because he's not being used properly. For him to come out like a professional and him to you know come back from that knee injury and come back and play well for the Atlanta Falcons this season is big. And it just goes to show all of these guys are not only physically tough, but all these guys are mentally tough. Um, Drake London, another guy that a lot of people have been mentioning, you know, he hadn't had a lot of catches. Uh, John Lou Smith was actually leading our team in receiving yards heading into yesterday's game. And for Drake London to come up with some huge catches in yesterday's game uh, on the sideline, a deep pass down the field where he showed really strong hands coming up. And Mawson, uh, one of the defenders uh, for the Houston Texans, and then him also having a big 25 to 30 yard catch on the last drive of the game where Desmond Ritter was able to hit him for a pass over the middle of the field to get us in the field goal range. These guys are just showing that these guys are really mentally tough and through adversity, that's when you find out what you're made of. And this team is showing us that they're not just physically tough, but they're mentally tough. So I really feel like that's going to go a long way for this Falcons team. Even though we're a very young team, we do have uh, guys on this uh, team on the defensive side of the ball. We have veteran guys, a couple veteran guys on the offensive side like Jake Matthews, guys like Chris Lindstrom. Um, on the defensive side, you have the Calais Campbells, you have the Jesse Bates, uh, the you know David Onyematas and Grady Jarrett's. So we have some guys on this team that are leaders and that are veterans that's helped leading these guys. Um, the defensive side of the ball has played great all season and they've proven that they're also mentally tough for us to not be putting up any points pretty much for the last two weeks and then not really putting up a lot of points early on in that Texans game for that defense to be mentally tough enough to hold, you know, hold tight until the offense got things rolling. Um, they were able to hold the Texans to three field goals in the first half, and they did a great job even in the second half. Um, 
before that last drive that they gave up that touchdown to uh, C.J. Stroud when he threw the ball uh, to Dalton Schultz. For the most part in that game, the defense pretty much kept us in the game, and those guys have been mentally tough all season. They've been, you know, clawing tooth and nail to keep us in every single game. But I really feel like this Atlanta Falcons team definitely has a chance to make the playoffs. They have a chance to make a deep playoff push because we know when it gets cold outside in December and, you know, when the playoffs, um, you know, when the playoffs start, uh, having a good defense and a solid running game and being good in the trenches, uh, that bodes well, you know, for your team. And even with our offensive line, we've seen even with them early on the last two games, they had given up, I think, about 11 sacks in the last two games when we were on that two-game losing streak for those guys to come back in this game against the Houston Texans and not give up any sacks uh, in that game yesterday just goes to show that this team is mentally tough. These guys are putting in the work, and this is not only a mentally tough group, but it's also a mentally tough coaching staff. They're doing a good job of making the proper adjustments, and they do uh, doing a good job of uh, both Terry Fontenot in the front office. They did a good job, Arthur Smith, of bringing in the right players. You continuously hear uh, Coach Arthur Smith stating that we have the right uh, players in that locker room to get the job done. And I really feel like they built this Atlanta Falcons team the right way, that we have a good mixture of youth and veterans. But these guys are going out there and proving that not only are they physically tough and we're one of the best uh, tackling teams in the league, one of the most physical teams in the league, but these guys are mentally tough that when they make mistakes, they move on to the next play and, you know, they make big plays when big plays are there to be made. Uh, but with that being said, you guys give me your thoughts on this Atlanta Falcons uh, team. Do you believe that we're one of the most mentally tough teams in the league? Personally, I do think that this Falcons team is uh, one of the most mentally tough teams, not only physically tough teams. Uh, but with that being said, this being your boy, Ju, I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.